Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, you're going to be building this. Hold on, not the entire site, but only this specific car. You see the background animation that is happening for this car. You see the cool blur effect and then we have some text. So you can create cool cars like this for your website. In this case, this is for my personal project, which I'm working on since a few days. So we won't be building this complete website, but we'll just be building this card, which you can integrate into various websites, or maybe you can tweak it and have different effects you might want to add for your specific website. So without any delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. Here in the index.html file, I have created the basic broiler template using exclamation and enter. And then I've also linked to the style.css file, which is as of now not empty, but then we just have some basic styling, like the body is given full width and height. And I've removed the basic margin padding and set the box sizing to border box and also have imported some fonts that we're going to be needing down the line. Now instead of the body, we create a div with the class of card for the card. And then inside of this, we add the video. So when you download the source code, you would get the video as well, which is downloaded from Pexels. And then right after that, we have the properties set as a muted a loop and autoplay so that whenever you play the video, it is muted always. And when it ends, it again starts back from the beginning. And then whenever you load the image or load the page, this video automatically starts playing instead of having some controls where you need to click and then it loads. And then right after that, we have the H2 wherein we set some text and then we have the span with NFTs and then a paragraph with some text. And that's it for the HTML. Let's head over to the CSS and style it. Obviously for the HTML that you have, it looks really ugly since we have the video and then the text here and nothing else. So yeah, let's style it. So in our CSS, we start by adding some styles to the body. So we add the background color as black. As you've seen in the website, we have the dark background. And then we set the font size and also color and center everything using display flex and align items and justify content to center. And then we target the video. We give it a width of 100% of the parent, in this case, the card. We haven't really added the position relative to specify what is the point of or which is the perspective to which this is positioned as absolute. So here the video is placed as position absolute with inset to zero, which means that start from the top of the parent element, go to the left zero, right zero, and also bottom zero, which means take the full width and height. Instead of adding width and height to 100%, you can just set the inset to zero. And then we set the Z index to negative two so that it is underneath everything. And then we reduce the opacity by specifying it as 0 0.8. And then we add the filter property with hue rotate. And here we add a degree of 100, which changes the color of the video a bit. Since now you can see that it is more like yellowish color. And then we target the car, we give it position relative so that this video is positioned absolutely, set overflow to hidden, we give some padding, width and height, and border radius to curve it, and then set everything as column using display flex. And then we add an overlay to the card using this before pseudo element. And here we add the content to empty string, since whenever you add a before and after pseudo element, you need to specify the content as an empty string. And then we add this mix blend mode to darken so that whatever outcome the overlay has, make sure that it is always a darker color. And then we set the position of this to absolute and again add inset to zero so that it takes the entire width and height and set this backdrop filter to blur so that we have this glassy effect and we set the value as 10 pixels and set the Z index to negative one so that this text or this overlay is just underneath the text but it has to be over the video so the video has a negative two Z index and then this has a negative one. And then we add this background, which makes it blend with the background. So initially we have it to bottom, wherein we start off transparent. So we have the card visible from top, but then as we go down, we add the same color as the background so that the card kind of blends in with the background. And then this is for the top to bottom. 
and then we also have this for left to right so we can add another linear gradient to right but this time we have transparent and then we have some gradual black values with different opacities and finally we have this entirely fully black color and then we target the h2 we increase the font size give margin and add the font family as acme and then we target the span and change the color to yellow and then we target the paragraph tab we give it width of 75 percent line height opacity of 0 0.8 change the font family to poppins and give it a bit of spacing from top by giving margin top of 20 pixels target the first line that this paragraph has increase the font size a bit change the font family to acme and change the color to yellow and also increase the opacity back to one and we're done and there you have it guys so with that we're done for today's video thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe turn on the notifications bell if you're new to the channel and yeah download the source code have fun integrate it into your own website and have fun thanks for watching till then bye bye thank you